Alright guys, I'm doing some uh, very interesting experiments here to uh, find ways to not corrode magnesium when it's immersed into a liquid like water. Um, basically, I'm using magnesium ribbon. The reason why I use magnesium ribbon is is that it will corrode easy. It's thin, not very much material there, so it will corrode quicker than a big slab of magnesium would. Um, but right here in this liquid, it's, it's a uh, distilled vinegar vinegar and it's very highly corrosive to magnesium so I want to show you what happens when regular magnesium gets put into uh, vinegar so all right here we go you can see bubbles are forming and it's decomposing So vinegar is very corrosive to magnesium. All right, get rid of that magnesium strip. <clears throat> and uh, next, I want to show you guys another piece of magnesium that I have here, and it has petroleum jelly put onto it, and that's going to help protect the magnesium from corrosion. Um, so I'm going to do the same thing again with this magnesium strip. Put it in the same vinegar solution. And you can see nothing's happening. Nothing. And I know many of you are thinking, well, hey, hold on, wait a minute. The, um, hold on. The, uh, I'll try to clamp this onto the multimeter here. And you're saying, well, the petroleum jelly is keeping it from uh, touching the liquid. So that's why it's not reacting. So, we've got the multimeter here. I'm going to go ahead with the copper electrode in, like so. We'll put the magnesium electrode in. Zero volts, volt scale, two volt scale. All right, we're gonna go ahead, put that in there like so. And you can see we're getting 1. Point, oops, 1.8 volts. So put it back in there. 1.8 volts. So if you can get that all in one shot. But it is working. As you can see, the magnesium is not corroding either. No bubbles are forming. And there you have it. Very simple test to uh, perform, showing that the petroleum jelly does protect it and it does still give you voltage. Um, but yeah.